Hey YouTubers, X Factor here with some Conquest Domination footage using the 870 with the old Sluggos. And here's the question, I get this a lot. Is this combination OP? But before we dictate whether something's overpowered or not, I think we need to know the statistics behind the weapon and more importantly, the mechanics. Number one, this combination is greatly affected by suppression, whether you are ADS or not. If you're hip firing it like I am at certain times, you have to make sure you are dead center. It's not where the circle is at. It's the circle within the circle. See where that hit marker was? That's dead center. So let's talk about when the shotgun can one shot. Of course, there's a massive head multiplier which extends the range. If you hit them in the arms from point blank or legs at point blank, it will not kill them. This does 100 max damage, and the arms and legs have a .91 multiplier. That means if you're at point blank range, you're gonna do 91 damage. What's the chance that when you go to shoot again, you're suppressed or you whiff? Just like I did right there with the panic knife and a little bit of help from a buddy behind me, apparently. So if you hit them in the arms or the legs, if they're at full health, no matter what the range, if they're right in front of your nose or 50 meters back, it will not kill them. Now, let's talk about what does one shot and in what situations. Number one, the headshot multiplier does some pretty nasty damage with this weapon. The range is pretty long, but the one that intrigues people the most, I think it's the reason why a lot of people say this combination could be possibly OP, is the chest multiplier. A lot of people don't realize that this has a 1.25 damage multiplier to the chest. So the question is, at what range does your shotgun do enough damage with the slug to the chest to make up for that multiplier? Well, the answer is you're looking for 80 damage. So with the 870, with the slug, the range at which it does 80 damage to the chest is roughly 25 meters. And again, this is me squinting at a chart on simthick.com. So if you find a very scientific number, please post it down below. I'll make sure to get it in the description. So at 25 meters, give or take, if you hit them dead nuts in the chest, it will drop them. Now let's talk about the downsides to this weapon. We already mentioned suppression. That's a big one. Can't really shoot through that due to the slow rate of fire, which is the next one. The rate of fire isn't the best, which helps keep these in check. How about the velocity behind the actual slug itself? It's a bit sluggish, get it? only 300 meters a second. You can literally see this thing travel through the air and drop in front of your eyes. Not to mention the lead you have to put on people if they're dancing at more than 30 or 35 meters. It's pretty gross, especially if you're going for that knockout at a long range, which is the headshot. For the most part, this is a highly situational weapon and the only times I really use this are for most close quarters maps when I'm in the mood. Any city map such as Bazaar, Sane Crossing, and Metro in the right time. Obviously, this is a great kit if you're pushing or trying to defend B from the zombie horde. Metro, if you're trying to make a push at those B stairs. And of course, Sane Crossing, if you're trying to get those filthy campers out of those stairwells. But for the most part, if you try to use this weapon in open spaces where there's a lack of action, you gotta cover the distance, you're gonna find your head getting taken off and taken off quickly. Again, because suppression is not your friend. I think it's fair to surmise that the first shot is the most important shot when using the 870 slug combination. And here's an example of me getting in trouble by missing the first shot. Hit him in the toe, hip fire headshot. That's the crazy bullet deviation you can get when using the slug shotgun combination. As you can see, my crosshair was nowhere near his head, but I still got the header. So, sometimes it's nice to you, but more times than not, it's not. So make that first shot count. The other thing that's nice about this kit combination is sometimes, not always, it can bail you out being late to the party. What does that mean? Two people see each other heads up, the other guy starts putting damage into you, you're a little bit suppressed, right there is a perfect example, and you come out the victor if you put that right in the chest. And there's another example of being late to the party and coming out all right, down to 25 health, fully suppressed, able to pull off the headshot while ADS. And that's one piece of advice. If you know you're gonna be suppressed, go ADS. If you have a corner that you're taking, pop around that corner while ADS. If you know there are bad guys there, because the chances of there being multiple people that you wanna easily line up shots on benefits you a ton 
while ADSing. I think you've seen some of the hip fire accuracies while I've been using this kit, even when the crosshairs dead nuts on their chest due to suppression or just a random bullet deviation. And there's where ADSing bails you out again. So if you want to achieve a pretty decent shot while hip firing the 870 or any slug combination, there's a trick PC gamers used to use. Some people used to take a piece of scotch tape, put it on the dead center of their monitor, and put a tiny black dot on that with a marker. I used to do this way back in the day. Obviously, I don't anymore, but it helped me out quite a bit when running a similar kit in an older game. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this footage and conversation. As always, let me know what you think down below. Give this combination a whirl and a variety of maps, and let me know what you think. We'll see you soon, YouTube.